Uh, I just realized that for one minute I did not record this part, so I'm just going to say it quickly. So it was uh, above minus below, and again above minus below, so I just simplified this. But now I'm recording. I'm sorry, I just uh, stopped because there were 22 minutes, and then I forgot to start again. Okay, so here we're asked to graph these two functions, find the enclosed area, and then find it. So, first of all, this is the easiest graph of all, y equals x, is the line that bisects the first and the third quadrants. So this is the line. We know that from a long time ago. Now, I would like to find the points of intersection and then graph this. So this will have a minimum, right? It's a quadratic function having a minimum, and it will cross at 0 and 2, 0 and 2 when we factor out x, 0 and 2. But I like to find the points of intersection first. So when I set y equal to y, this equals to this, so x squared minus 2x equals x, or x squared minus 3x equals 0 because we have to set it equal to 0. And from here we know we have two options, x equals 0 and x equals 3. y equals x means the same x, the same y, so the point here will be 0, 0, and the point here will be 3, 3. So they intersect here, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, somewhere here. So now between 0 and 2, so the graph of this function, x squared minus 2x equals 0, has x equals 0 and x equals 2. So the minimum is right here at x equals 1, and here is the graph. And this is the graph of y equals x squared minus 2x. This is the enclosed area. I already found the points of intersection between 0 and 3. How do I find this area? How do I calculate it? Anyone? Any suggestions on how to calculate this area? How did we calculate this area? In the same way we have to calculate this area. Would it be x minus x squared minus 2? Yes, but plus 2x when we subtract from above, which was x, we subtract every term in below. Subtract the first term, subtract the second term. But what else is missing? What is missing here? Because uh, integer from 0 to 3. Yes, of course, and dx. Awesome. That's it. So now let's find the area. Great job. So we have um, x squared over 2 minus x cubed over 3 plus, I should have added this, because it's x plus 2x. It's 3x. 3x squared over 2 uh, from 0 to 3. Luckily, I don't have to plug in 0, because it's a polynomial, it will be 0. And uh, I plug in 3. So uh, 9 times 3, 27 over 2, minus 27 over 3. So when I do this by hand without the calculator, I will definitely factor out 27. And then I have 1 half minus 1 third. So 3 minus 2. So it's 1 over 6. So 27 divided by 6, and I will simplify by 3. And I get 9 halves. And yes, units squared, whatever you want to say. So this, this area enclosed between 0 and 3, between the points of intersection uh, of these two graphs, from above minus below, 
is 9 halves. The last two, consumer surplus, producer surplus, and differential equations. What would you like to continue with? This is all chapter 5, 5.1 and 5.7. Yes? Uh, can we do the consumer and um, producer surplus? Then? Yes, yes. These are on page 480. So these are on 480, and also we have on the previous page here. Which problem we want to choose? Maybe number four. Number four. So for number four, we have d of x, and this is again 479. And we have x minus 4 squared, and s of x, x squared plus 2x plus 6. They want us to determine uh, the equilibrium point and the consumer surplus and producer surplus at the equilibrium point. Perfect. So how do we continue? We'll put up with the first one, the d, uh, the d of x equals c of x. Very, of x. very good. So this is x squared minus. 8x plus 16 equals x squared plus 2x plus 6. Luckily, these two go away. I move 2x. I move 16. How much is x? One. Perfect. The equilibrium point will be 1 comma. Let's plug it in here. How much is 1 minus 4? Negative three. Negative three squared? Nine. Nine. Excellent. So now the consumer surplus, remember, is the integral from zero to one minus this product. The producer surplus is this product minus the integral from zero to one from the other function. So for the consumer is the demand, x minus four squared dx. And here will be x squared plus 2x plus 6 dx. We will get a number with a dollar sign here. And we will get a number with a dollar sign here. That's all you need to remember, right? Because these integrals are easy to determine. We're going to determine both or just one uh, because I would like to review the differential equations as well. But it's up to you. So that's all I need to remember. The consumer surplus is the integral from 0 to this number, and then from the de uh, demand function, and then minus this product, 1 times 9. And the producer surplus is reversed, and of course it's a different function, right? So we still have 9 minus the integral from still 0 to 1, but from the supply function dx. So let's determine one of these, because I know you can determine them, no problem. But let's determine one of them. Which one would you like to determine? The producer surplus. The producer surplus, very good. So then the producer surplus is 9 minus x to the third over 3 plus 2x squared over 2 plus 6x from 0 to 1. Luckily, it's a polynomial. I don't have to plug in 0. I will only plug in nine, uh, 1. So 9 minus 1 third plus 1 plus 6. So this is 9 minus. So this is 7. 3 times 7, 21, 22. So 3 time, times 9, 27, minus 22, 5 thirds, and this is in dollars. So you can approximate that. 
1.66 or 1.7 roughly. Good. Now the last topic that we haven't touched uh, upon is uh, differential equations. We reviewed everything else but differential equations. Okay, so let's take a look. And that's the end of chapter five. Let me see the page number. Five, 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 six, five, seven. Yes, page number 536. Okay, so let's choose anything again. We had plenty of examples. Please redo those problems and also look at all the written solution, written homework solutions, please. You have plenty of examples to study from. Okay, so let's uh, take a look. So you also, uh, you may be asked to, uh, you, may, you may be given an equation. You may be asked, is this the solution? Do we have any, any uh, a solution of the differential equation? You are given a, okay. yes. Do we do one of those where it's like, do you have to show us that it's a solution of sure. the other? Sure, yep, yep. Which one? Number 10. Okay. Perfect, number 10. So we have uh, in number 10 on 535, we have um, y equals x natural log x plus 3x minus 2. And we are asked to show uh, that is an equa a solution to this differential equation. Is this a differential equation? Yes, it has a derivative. Any, any order derivative. Perfect. So basically, all we have to do is determine the second derivative, plug it in here, and subtract 1 over x. And if we get 0, then we'll say yes. If we don't get 0, then we'll say no. So let's find y prime. Remember, this is a product. So we have function 1 and function 2. First function prime is 1 times natural log x plus the first times the second one prime. How much is natural log prime? One over x. Very good. And plus 3x prime, which is 3. These two go away because negative 2 prime is 0. And 1 plus 3. So this is natural log x plus 4. We need the second derivative, not the first, but we couldn't find it before finding it, finding the first one. So what is the derivative of this? 1 over x. Good. So then is 1 over x minus 1 over x 0? Yes. Yes. So yes, this function is one of the solutions of the differential equation. Good. Let's choose others. Um, let's choose one from twenty six to thirty. Can we do twenty eight? Twenty eight. Let's look at twenty eight on five thirty six. We have DL. They just invent letters here, right? dL over dt equals negative 0.68L. And they are telling us that when L is 1,200, uh, t is 0. Or t is 0 when L is 1,200. Same thing. OK. So why is this information given to us? And how is it called? The initial condition. Very good. In order to find a unique function. Good. 
So don't think about this just yet. It's not there. We're not going to address it just yet. It means nothing right now. Good. So what is the first step? What do we need to do first? We have to multiply by dt. Very good. That's exactly what we're going to do. So dl equals negative 0.68l times dt. Awesome. Next step. Divide by l. To yes. Divide. Awesome. Divide both sides by l. So we have dl over l equals negative 0.68 dt. Are the two variables separated? Is l alone on one side? Is t alone on the other? And the answer is yes. What is the next step after we separate the variables? To integrate both sides. Yes, we are integrating both sides. Don't look at this just yet. What do I write on the left-hand side? Is it just dl or just d? Careful. We want to find a function whose derivative... Yes, but not L and L, please. What is missing? Absolute value. Absolute value of L. Good. Now on the other side. Which function prime is 1? Because this constant is outside. And the variable here is T. Which function prime is negative 0.68? Negative 0.68t. Very good, plus a constant c. Awesome. Good. Now, there is no calculus here. We have to find L. So this is a log equation. I want to change it into an exponential equation. How do I do that? 